What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. So I have some new silver purchases to show you today. I went to a coin show last weekend and I picked up a handful of really neat stuff. So let's see what I got at the coin show. Stay tuned. So as you see here, I picked up a handful of silver coins. I have some constitutional silver, I have a couple American silver eagles, but I also picked up one non-silver coin, and I thought this was really interesting. This is a 2007 George Washington modern dollar coin, and it's NGC graded, mint state 65, but this is a mint error with the missing edge lettering, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, as you might know, these modern dollar coins do have edge lettering around the coin, but some of these were minted without that edge lettering, and that is technically a mint error. So this is pretty cool. I don't really have many error coins in my collection. Uh, I don't really have many slabbed coins in my collection, so this fills two little holes in the collection, and I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm probably going to keep this for myself, but maybe I'll throw this up on my Instagram or maybe in my next auction. But I thought it was kind of interesting, and I got it for a pretty decent price, so I picked that up. But most of the other coins here are all silver. I did pick up two American Silver Eagles. The first one being a 2021, and this is a Type 1 Reverse. So, of course, this is the last year they minted these Type 1 Reverses. And, you know, they do typically carry a premium right now over other Silver Eagles. You know, Silver Eagles in general carry quite a high premium nowadays, but these Type 1 Reverse 2021s are carrying even higher of a premium. So I was happy to pick one of those up. I also got the key date of the series, the 1996. So these do have the lowest mintage of all American Silver Eagles. They are the key date of the series. It's not in a horrible shape, but it is definitely not brilliant uncirculated. You know, finding a 96 in BU is, is kind of difficult, and those carry quite a large premium. But I was happy to pick up two Eagles, especially being a key date, as well as what may be a key date in the future, these, these Type 1 Reverse 2021s. So, two American Silver Eagles. Everything else here is constitutional silver. You might be asking, what is up with these two Morgans? So these were some extremely coal Morgan dollars, worse than coal, actually. So this first one here is an 1881, minted in New Orleans. And as you see, it has damage. It's extremely slick. It has some staining going on. I mean, this thing is in horrible shape. But I picked it up as well as this one here which is an 1891, minted in Philadelphia. It actually has some decent toning going on, and it's not in horrible shape besides the two holes drilled in the coin here. But I picked these up because they were for sale right at melt value. So I picked these up right at spot price. I can't pass up some Morgan dollars right at melt value, even if they are pretty disgusting looking. But you know what? I picked them up. I thought they're cool. I actually like, you know, seeing these coins like this because what kind of stories could these coins tell, you know? I think they're very interesting and I'll probably just keep those. Maybe I'll throw those up on an auction as well. We'll see. I did pick up some uh, other dimes here. This is a seated Liberty dime, which I thought was really cool. And also just to let you know, all of these... Um, most of these coins here, these dimes, the half dollars, quarters, dimes, and some of these half dollars was all in a junk silver lot, a constitutional silver coin lot that I purchased just for one price, and it had some really cool stuff in it. So I, you know, I grabbed it. I thought it was really interesting because it wasn't just regular old junk silver. There was a lot of unique varieties. So it did include this 1889 seated liberty dime you know it's kind of slick but there's still a little bit of detail there you know i'll never pass up a seated liberty i really love the design 
And, you know, I don't have too many seeded coins in my collection, so I'm always happy to add another one. Here's a 1947D, and this thing is beautiful uncirculated. So I thought that was really cool. A nice, you know, an older uh, Roosevelt dime uncirculated. Not too bad at all. It's in great shape. Looks beautiful. And then all of these here, we'll go through these real quick. These are all proof coins. So this was really cool. Here's a 1954 proof with a little bit of toning going on. So a nice old proof, you know, they have it marked at $20, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure what the, what the uh, 1954 is going for in proof, but that's pretty cool. And then we have a 1960, a 61, a 1958, a 1959, a 1957, another 60, another 60, and one more 1960. But these are all proof Roosevelt dimes, all 90% silver. And I thought they were pretty cool. You know, picking up a unique variety when you're buying your constitutional silver, I think is so much fun. You know, it's just not that regular old circulated coins. And, you know, it has a little bit of unique variety. So we got a bunch of proofs, some uncirculated, some older coins, and then some more proofs here. Let's take a look at these. This is a little set of 1964 proof coins. We have the Roosevelt dime. It's in beautiful condition. The proof coins always look so nice. Here's a proof Washington quarter. 1964, of course, that is the last year of 90% silver, as well as the 64 proof Kennedy half dollar. So really cool. I like getting these proof coins. You know, they just look so beautiful. Here are three more proof coins, and these are really, really cool. Look at the toning on these. I'm not sure the camera's gonna do it justice, but these are all the colors of the rainbow. Very interesting look to them. You know, they are very heavily toned, very dark toning, but there's blue and green and purple and just all different colors in there. So we have the Washington Quarter. Look at, yeah, look right there. That looks so cool. You know, I don't think these are artificially toned. I think this was a little set, possibly a, you know, like an aftermarket mint set, a uh, secondary market, whatever you want to call that. Um, you know, not an official U.S. mint set, but one of those little things they put together that had some silver coins in them. They're all proofs but they just have this crazy toning. Here is a 64 Kennedy. This one's got really nice, you know, this little moon shape of the toning along the uh, left side of the coin. Just really, really cool. The reverse has some really interesting gold and blue, you know, really interesting pieces. And then also had a 51 Benji and this one doesn't have a whole lot of color, but it is very dark. And it also had this weird little, almost like a little spot that somebody filed down or scratched somehow. I'm not exactly sure. It has like a golden color. Maybe this was even part of some type of jewelry or something like that. I don't know. But it has this little mark here that is kind of filed into the coin. I'm not really sure what the deal with that one was, but pretty cool, pretty interesting. I love the colorization and the toning. And then lastly, we have some really awesome half dollars. So first off, these two walkers are just so nice. Here's a 1945. And look at the condition of these. These are both in about uncirculated, so I would say AU condition. You know, they, they just have so much detail. Look at all the feathers on the eagle there. Just a gorgeous looking Walking Liberty half dollar from 1945. We also have a 1946. Also with some really great uh, mint luster and detail. Just really, really nice looking coins here. I was really excited to pick up those two Walking Liberties. And last but not least, I also picked up some commemorative half dollars. And I love the commemoratives. I think they are so cool. 
Very interesting, very historical. So here I picked up four of the 1892 or 1893 Colombian Exposition commemorative half dollars. They were minted in 1892 and 93 for two years. Uh, all of these ones that I picked up here are 1893s. Some of them are in better condition than others, but these were the first commemorative half dollars of the United States. They were celebrating the World's Fair in Chicago and honoring Christopher Columbus, 1492 through 1892. And of course we have the beautiful ship here and the globes. And this one has some pretty cool toning as well. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick that up. And of course we have Christopher Columbus here on the reverse of the coin. Pretty cool. Some dark toning, a little bit of color showing up. Here's another one. Of course, they're not in the best shape. They are all circulated, but very cool pieces. And this one has some nice toning as well. Also 1893. And then two more that are a little bit more circulated. Both 1893s, but very cool. Christopher Columbus, the Columbian Exposition, the Chicago World's Fair of 1892. And they are just really, really cool. So four of those Colombian half dollars. And last but not least, we have two more commemoratives. One of my favorite commemorative half dollars is the Stone Mountain from 1925. Just a very cool design. You know, if you've ever seen the actual Stone Mountain monument, it's, it is just amazing with this picture here is actually carved in the side of this huge rock formation. And it's, it's just an amazing sight. So, you know, these are kind of worn, you know, they are circulated, but I, uh, you know, I just really like this half dollar. And whenever I can find these commemoratives, I just pick them up because they're really popular and I feel like they've been hard to find lately, uh, especially in the raw form, just a raw coin. I do see a lot of graded coins and, uh, of the commemoratives, but they carry quite a high premium and I like to just collect them, um, just the raw coin. So here we have the Stone Mountain. I was really excited about that one. And then we also have this one here. This is the 1923 uh, Monroe Adams commemorative. And I didn't have this one yet in my collection, so I was excited about this one as well. And here we have just a pretty nice design. It says Monroe Doctrine Centennial Los Angeles, 1823-1923. Just a really cool design. A lot of detail in there that, you know, if you move the coin, you can see this interesting little filigree patterns throughout the field of the coin. Kind of interesting. So I didn't have one of these in my collection, so I was definitely excited to pick them up. So um, six commemorative half dollars, two beautiful walking liberties, a handful of other constitutional, whether it's beautiful proof coins or even these ugly Cole Morgans. We got some American Silver Eagles, a key date, and a 21, uh, 2021 Type 1 reverse. And then, of course, we have this Mint Air Washington dollar from 2007. And kind of cool, slabbed by NGC. So these were all of the purchases that I picked up at the coin show. I actually have a couple other things that I'll show in another video. Some really interesting foreign silver, and uh, that'll be for a whole nother video. But I think we have seen enough today. You know, I was excited to pick this up. I hope you enjoyed checking everything out. Like I said, some of this will be up in my next auction on YouTube. Some of these might go up on my Instagram page for sale. And some of these just might go in my stack. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed checking everything out that I picked up at the coin show. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, and all that fun stuff. And ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.